Here's the Jackery 500. I've got it plugged into um, the vehicle's cigarette port or 12 volt port, whatever you want to call that. And it's currently running the mini fridge. So you can see it's sucking in 75 watts and it's putting out 59.60. So um, this is the start of my trip. I'm going to run this thing the whole way, keep that mini fridge running. I've got like a four and a half, five hour drive, something like that. And we'll see how this thing can run on solar this trip. So the Jackery now is at 44%. I've uh, been running my fridge. Uh, when I got here, it was 100% because I had it charging on my car the whole way. So this is the first night. It is uh, 8.15 in the morning right now. I got my fridge strapped so the raccoons can't get into it. And there's no not really any sun yet but it looks like I'm pulling like three watts or something like that to charge so the site actually has power if you can see that but um, I'm trying to experiment with uh, solar to see if I, I can gather enough solar to do a, a to use this type of fridge on a off-grid primitive camping type situation so one thing I think I may do is I may plug, I've got another Jackery, a 300. I may plug it into this to boost this one up. 300 can't run the fridge, but I can charge this one with the 300, which isn't going to be the most efficient method. But I have another solar panel on top of the car there. So I can be charging two different sources at the same time. So... I think I'm going to try that. There you go. I actually have a number of options available. I was even thinking about that. I could run these, plug one of these into the car too to charge it, but um, I'm going to see what I can get with solar. So the 300, it's interesting. It says it's outputting 77 watts, but the 500 is inputting 83 watts. So uh, I don't know. I guess the gauges can't be right because there's no way I'm gaining efficiency by charging this. So what I do, what I have now is the solar panels plugged into the 300 just so I'm not wasting the little bit of sunlight that I have. I'm getting 5 watts and then I'm recharging the 500. So I'm going to leave it set up like this for a little while until uh, I get some more sun. When I get more sun, I'll probably move the solar panels back to the 500 and then uh, keep the 300 as a uh, back or plug the 300 into the other solar panel that I have so that they're both charged up. So I'm kind of using that 300 as a reserve for the 500. So here's where I'm at with these jackeries. It's about 7:30, and um, I'm at 61 percent, but it's because I'm charging off of my small uh, 160, and this thing's down to 14 percent. It says it's outputting 91 watts, and this one's uh, sucking in 84. So Obviously, the uh, inefficiencies of the voltage conversions uh, with the inverter is the reason for that. But um, basically, it's kind of what my observation has been. I had a solar panel, and it was in mostly direct sun uh, most of the day. Anytime I looked over and it wasn't in the sun, I'd move it. And I, I at best, I got 55 to 60 watts input with that solar panel. It, that's, it's a Rock Pals portable uh, foldable solar panel, um, which seems fine. Um, but my mini fridge, it is kind of a hot day. I think it, the high today was the mid eighties. Uh, and then part of the day, the fridge was in direct sunlight, which didn't help either. But at the beginning of the day, this thing was at 44%. And then I think it got up to about 55%. And then it started uh, discharging as the sun went away, um, as the sun went behind the clouds here in the after, in the late afternoon. So um, I'm recording this because I think I don't want to risk this thing running dead overnight and all the food in my fridge spoiling. And I was trying to just record it or um, refill it off of my other Jackery, but this thing's now down to 12%, which isn't really that big of a surprise. And I'm at 61 Um you know, that's probably going to take every bit of that by the morning is my guess. And this thing will be dead. So, um, <clears throat> uh, 
some other options. Uh, I have two solar panels, but I can only charge a Jackery with one. And my other two Jackeries were um, 100%. So all day today, I've been using one solar panel to charge this thing. And one has just been sitting idle, wasted. So, But this is the only one with a big enough power inverter in it to actually run the fridge. So what would have been ideal is if I had two of these, I could have swapped one to the other and then then they both would have been charging on the solar and I probably would have been back up to 100% with the other Jackery by this time. Um, another option is if earlier in the day I would have had a solar panel hooked up to one of these and I was charging this one with it. So that way um, at some point I would have had two Jackeries that were low on power and then I could use both solar panels uh, to charge each one. Um, these are just some observations that I've had. Um, Obviously, my site has power, uh, and this was just an experiment. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing plugged in um, to shore power and uh, get it all the way back up to 100% so my food doesn't spoil. Um, I, I mean, I, I, another option is I could have gotten another uh, of the same solar panel, that Rock Pals, and I could have paralleled them, and then I would have had a, a little bit faster charging. But as far as I know, this thing can only suck in... Uh, 90 watts. Uh, the Jackery 500 can only recharge at 90 watts. So two solar panels potentially would have been putting out 110 to 120 watts. So I wouldn't have even been able to use that whole thing. Um, lastly, I think the uh, most efficient option would have been to use a 12 volt fridge, which I don't have. Um, I'd be curious how that would change uh, the results. But Anyway, that's my observation here. If I was going one day, you know, maybe on a day trip, and I wanted to keep a fridge cool, this thing would have no problem handling it during the day, especially with a solar panel, because it seems like with a solar panel and direct sun, it kind of was about uh, even. It broke even as far as the power I was collecting to the power I was burning.